Alright everybody, Scipio2 here. Hope everybody out there is doing alright. We're doing this uh, another installment I guess for the uh, Magpul Hunter 700 stock as well as the Magpul um, 762 bolt action magazine weld. And of course it's for the 700 rifle, which is the barreled action you see before you. There is a, a snafu with their design due to this sharp angle here that is not present on the original. You see it's much more round back here. That prevents a flat trigger such as the one you see here. Notice it's vertical up and down, as opposed to hooked. It actually makes contact inside of your guard. So I'm going to show a quick little video as to uh, what that looks like, how that works, what the deal is. So you got your barreled action ready to receive your stock. Line it up, slide it down. I'm not going to go through the whole process here. Uh, bulking it all down, but there she is. That's basically lined up right there, sitting on the bags. Uh, bam. Okay. So you've got your Magpul stock, your Magpul bottom metal, your 700 action. You've taken the little Magpul bezel out. This should just drop right in. And it does. It's got a little bit of a click. There's a couple of detents in it. Click. You hear it go click, right? So anyway, that's all copacetic you're saying, right? Well, wrong. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this quite right here. This is going to be the tricky part. I'm trying to show you guys just what's going on here. But, apologize if you can't see this that well. My bad. Anyway, you'll see the blade is contacting the guard. Well, it looks all copacetic, but notice the guard is not sat down into the stock here. It needs to be set further into the stock so when you go to put the screws in to start tightening it it's going to start pushing the stock up and out so it basically goes into a bind and that obviously prevents you from being able to pull the trigger that's the problem so the catch is to line this all up find out exactly where your blade is making contact within the guard and remove some material there Pull out your trusty everyday Dremel tool, uh, rat tail file, because you're not going to have to take off much material. So what I did was set it all up, jigged it all up, took a regular black ballpoint pin, and just above where the trigger is making contact within the guard, made a hash mark, and then just below where it's making contact, made a hash mark. What I'll do is I'll go back in with a file, some sandpaper, remove some material. It's going to be trial and error, so I'll take a little bit off at a time, maybe a 30 seconds of an inch or so, because these triggers, if you're familiar with them, it's the Timney 517, very, very little play or pull, I guess. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the problem. That's the issue. This is going to be uh, the first step, I guess, in resolving that. So... We're going to shut the camera off now, we're going to bust out some files and some sandpaper, pull a little material, and we'll go back and forth, and when I've gotten there, I'll come back and show you what we're dealing with. Fair enough? Cool. We'll be back. Alright YouTube, Scipio2 here, back with this uh, follow-up on the Magpul magazine adapter for the Hunter 700. If you've been following, you know that I've got the Timney 517 flat trigger. This doesn't clear. Something needs to give. So this being the lesser expensive option in case of a major FUBU, we've modified this. So here's a close-up look at uh, what we've got. You can see in the back side of the trigger guard, right here, I've filed and sanded a notch in there looks uh, kind of like a reverse undercut if you will and um, that's all it took hope that's uh, 
showing up stable and whatnot for you guys. It's really not much. Um, I actually took off more than necessary, both in the height of it and the depth. But I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room because after, I don't know, four or five off and ons, I was getting tired of it. So I said, nah, the heck with it. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. So that's what I did. Anyway, um, I had marked where I needed to remove it, hard lined the two ends, and then basically took my uh, half rasp little mini file and just went to work. Followed up with some, uh, I think this is 800 grit or, I don't know, it's about 800 grit sandpaper, smoothed it up. And uh, once everything was said and done, test fitted it, make sure I had clearance, pulled it off, then cleaned it all up. And uh, here we are, finished product. We're gonna put it on now and I'll show y'all how that all goes together. So bear with me, we're gonna do the damn thing. Ready, steady, and go. All right, so anyway, got your uh, barreled action, line that up, take this dude. Remember what I told you about the two little titties? You gotta clip them into place and they line up with uh, two indentations in the aluminum bed block of the chassis. Here it clip into place, hopefully. I might have been talking over that, sorry if I was. Got your two screws, long one goes to the rear, short one to the front. Right there. Torque wrench, your action screws should be 50 to 60 inch pounds, not foot pounds. Don't get all gorilla gargantuan with them. I like to just get them started and then uh, run them down. All right, that's snug. That's snug. All right, so uh, 50 to 60 inch pounds. I prefer the lower end of the scale. So uh, my torque gun wrench dealio is set at 50. That's all she wrote. I set that off to the side, get my file and whatnot out of the way, magazine, and uh, again, these mags work similar to AK style mags. They go in with a rocking motion, as you can see there, and then just roll it and it goes in. Uh, previous video I talked about how that was fairly difficult from the, the factory, it was very tight. And uh, again, to follow up, I talked about how we sanded up the insides, didn't do anything to the mags. They're obviously gonna wear with age, but that's it. So uh, anyway. Uh, here's a close-up shot of how it looks in the guard. Hope uh, I'm not shaking too much. It's rather chilly out here, but uh, you can see the trigger sits very close to the rear, but it takes very, very little movement to actually fire it. So like I said, you don't have to take off that much material. And as you can see, I took off more than need be, but I wanted to make sure everything was smooth and round so that when I pulled the trigger, I wasn't gonna be in a situation where I might pinch my skin or anything like that or have any sharp edges. And uh, as you can see, I don't. So. I'm happy with that. Mags lock in and out nice and easy. Ambi release paddle to the left or right. And there it is. The complete Hunter 700 mag pull setup. Um, I don't know what else to say, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's the installation of the magazine adapter slash bottom middle and the necessary modification if you run the blade type trigger. So, questions, comments, thoughts, whatever, put them down in the bottom. I'm pretty good at uh, answering them and following up. But uh, I guess that's it for now. 
been out here much longer than I planned on, and like I said, it's cold. So I'm going in where it's warm, button this all up. I'll end this like this. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Take care of each other. God bless.